Okay, so this is my design team project. I uh, just used uh, some uh, rose paper and some cardboard and I painted this with chalk paint and then I did some decoupage with a glass finish so that it would uh, be shiny inside though you can't really see it. I also used uh, some uh, different decorations such as this lace. I think I got that from Rose Aluka. Sorry if I say that wrong. Aluka. I can never say her name right. But she sells uh, laces and things and this was some of the lace that I received uh, on a purchase. And I believe this applique was actually from uh, my friend uh, Vicky Garisto. And I'm not sure where I got that bling bling, but I decided to put some buttons on the outside with Paris so that it kind of goes with this uh, old style uh, writing uh, calligraphy or whatever. And I just did some other rice paper that I got from Spectrum Art. And I did this DT project in mind because this lid was my inspiration. <laughs> and it really was actually the, the design team product that I got from uh, Chaos For You. And it was actually a, uh, a six inch diameter uh, photo, acrylic photo little, uh, I don't know, they came in a package and it's meant for photos, but you can see it actually has a hole there. If you can see that, uh, but it's an acrylic blank. And I just added uh, some lace that I got from ks for You, and I got, remember when I, oops, hold on. I'm doing this by hand, I'm in a hurry, I've been on vacation, and I'm running behind as usual. So this right here, if you'll remember when I did my unboxing, I didn't remember them, I didn't know they were gonna be so big. Well, I found a use for them, and I thought it was really cute, because I got those from, KS from you and then I got this rope uh, trim from KS for you and everything on here I think is from KS for you the little flowers the beaded trim everything except for this glitter uh, the glitter um, ribbon that I have put on there and I believe everything else here other than my little hanger is from KS for you and I told you guys when I did my unboxing, I had an idea of what to do. And I used these little uh, shell, acrylic shell, to give it kind of a um, feathery, peacockish look. But although this is not in peacock mode, but I thought of peacock when I did this. But it's so beautiful. And then I added some extra ones there. And then the flower bling blings and the plastic bling blings, the you know the all the acrylic and the bead trim. It's so beautiful. And this medallion was definitely a KS for you. And I'm not sure about the scissors. I don't remember, but they matched the medallion, so I went with it. And this is of course a sewing box. So I made my own little sewing box to travel with. Now the only thing I didn't do was make this lid where it would, you know, stay attached, but. I decided I just wanted it for a topper. I thought about putting a light in there, but uh, I didn't. But I really loved this idea here to put my needles and safety pins inside this little glass jar so that it would dangle in the center there. Hold on just a second. There we go. And it fits right in there. It just dangles and hangs in there. So now you can see the reflection of that uh, Mod Podge. But that was my little lid. This was intentionally going to be the lid at first, but I decided it'd be more cool to have a, a divided area for the materials in the bottom. I actually was gonna put the materials in the top. And mom says, why don't you put the materials in the bottom and show all of the, um, all of the sewing stuff in the top and I said well I don't know I guess that would probably make more sense so that when you opened it you saw all the the, the threads and the needles and the, the this and the that so I decided to listen to good old mom 
and she's always wise and she is brilliantly creative so I decided to listen so there now I, I had it all folded up in there but I just kind of threw it back in there right now because I'm in the back of my truck and it's a mess so I wanted to put I do like this right here that was so beautiful but this is a little sew box and um it's done like I said with paint chalk paint cardboard and uh and mod podge and a little smell good just because you know I like to throw in some smell and the little topper so that is my ks for you design team project that I am awful awful late on but she knows that I drive and I'm very busy and I went on vacation so um so here it is this is my fourth design team project and I guess I'll catch you guys on the flip side. I hope you like it. And as always, my products are for sale. Uh, my creations are also for sale. So if you are interested in this particular uh, little sew box, uh, then you can message me at stephpettis1 at yahoo.com or private message me on my Facebook uh, page or just, you know, there's all my links are below. So I hope that you like what I brought you. I hope you like this uh, design team and I apologize for being in such a hurry, but I'm at work and I had to get this done and I just wanted to show y'all, it's so beautiful. Oh, and I did use a uh, black uh, glue stick on here and then I did the uh, the waxes, the uh, Fina Bear waxes and that is in rose gold. So I thought rose gold would be an awesome attribute to structure of this box or you no know, pouch whatever you want to call it this barrel box I guess I'll call it a barrel box because it is kind of tubular it's not flat it's long but you know it's beautiful and I hope you like it I enjoyed creating it I did create it of course in a hurry but I do hope it doesn't look too much of a hurry but I like it I probably want to create some more of these with my acrylic blanks that I got from the KS for you so you can see that it's just an acrylic blank. I love it. I love that it's see-through. And a little light would be kind of cool in there. But there's my sewing stuff, right? Right? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and shut this video down. And I hope you like what I brought you. Thank you again, uh, Julie, for letting me be on the design team. And I'm sorry that I'm so, so late. And I know you understand. And I appreciate that. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye. Be sure to shop ks4u.com, by the way. Her links will also be in the description box below. Okay, bye.